Thank you, Mary. Let's head outside on the weather deck now. I'm joined by meteorologist Josh Kozlowski. And Josh, uh, we're changing the months right now as well. It's really cool out here right now. It's just good weather. I think it feels awesome. I, I didn't. You didn't bring the grill out, which I'm a little no. sad about. My yeah, bad. I'm hungry. I know you're hungry, I'm too. I'm very hungry. Uh, but, yeah, we can't see. We can see these jet contrails streaked out in the sky. The high, thin cirrus clouds. Yeah, it's going to be very pretty when the sun starts to go down. But, yeah, changing months. Are we going to change this weather pattern? I don't know if you like crisp cold mornings not chilly but cold mornings we have some coming up on the seven day dale so i pay still attention. drive home every night with the windows down so <laughs> i love it i love it soon. here we go we'll talk about the weather for the week ahead dale and i think the biggest change will be this week is one thing's gonna stay the same one thing will change the one thing that stays the same will be the beginning part of the week we are still talking about above average temperatures for the month of september and eventually switching to october come tuesday we will have a mix of sun and clouds, so the starting off of the week on a pretty quiet but warm weather note. Now, the middle part of the week here, we're talking about cloudier skies, rainier conditions, and cooler weather for the daytime highs, okay, closer to average, actually, versus above average. And then later on this week, into the weekend, there will be some sun back in the forecast and a mostly dry forecast. So maybe a little interruption later in the week with some of that, but much colder at night. We're talking about some temperatures that we have not been used to for a while, but we're usually on average getting down to for this time of year. More on that in a few minutes. Temperature right now outside on the weather deck. It's pretty comfortable. At least out the airport, 74 degrees here in Syracuse, 63 for Cortland, same thing in Hamilton. 71 for Rome and Fulton because we had the sun out still here, but down the south, even stuck in the clouds all day. Look at Binghamton, literally chilling in 59 degrees right now. Very cool, not chilly stuff. Triple Doppler, sponsored by Falso Service Experts with the cloud cover as well. You can see the sprinkles, lighter rain uh, near Ithaca, Point South, Lyle. You can see between Cortland and Binghamton here, some sprinkles and lighter rain still in the area. The outer edge, moisture of the remnants of what was once Hurricane Helene. The big picture, you can see the spin going on here out towards Kentucky and Tennessee. The whole system is really stretched out and the moisture with it, the rain is nowhere close to where it was when it was moving inland. Future cast, hour by hour, temperatures this evening, 70s, 60s, falling down in the 50s, and I think within a few degrees of 60 by tomorrow morning. Sunrise after a pretty sunset here. Coming up shortly, there should be a pretty sunrise tomorrow morning. And as we go through the day, we're going to warm up nicely. I think we'll make it up in the mid-70s at least. Smile shows 73, could be 75 right there, kind of flashing on the screen. I think we could be a little bit warmer than that, if you can believe it. All right, your forecast on tonight, low temperatures getting down into the upper 50s, low 60s, warmer or milder south, chillier up to the north with less cloud cover there. High tomorrow, 78 here in Syracuse with hazy sun, filtered at times, feeling pretty warm out. All right, next seven days, take you through it. October 1st, 75, starts out partly sunny, ends cloudy. Some rain Tuesday night into Wednesday, Wednesday high only 66. Low mid 70s, Thursday, Friday, some rain, lighter rain Friday night. And near 70 both those days, some days, some spots in the 60s only, and back up in the 70s Sunday. But look at those lows, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Saturday night, only in the 40s. That is some chilly weather, Dale. Thank you, Josh. Looks like I'll still be driving home with the windows down for now at least. Next in sports, we preview the Sunday night football matchup for the Bills. Our Buffalo Plus team is in Baltimore. That's next in sports.